Coach Massey here from Massey Machado Strength and Conditioning M2 Speed Strength and Performance with another unadulterated, unedited ep episode of Move Your Feet. Thanks for coming back again today. Today we're talking about horizontal trunk stability. It is actually a continuation from the last episode that we did. We showed you a linear version of some of the activations we do prior to our vertical work. Uh, you know, prior to your cleans, clean and jerks, uh, Olympic lifts, uh, snatches, whether you do a bilateral with a barbell or if you do a unilateral with a dumbbell. Either way, we just want to let you guys inside and see, you know, we didn't create the step up stuff, maybe didn't even create the activations probably, but we just like to show you what we do as preparatory movements to help promote horizontal trunk stability and avoid lateral flexion of the spine in these spheres. So we're going to bring Maddie in. Once again, the newly acquired intern coach Matt Massey, with the toughest boss on the planet, is going to help us demonstrate today. First thing we're going to take a look at is the simple lateral box step up. You know what that is. We make them pause. So foot up, bang, push hard, step, grid wall for anatomical perspective, and come back down. You want to try to slow that on the eccentric, but that's what we're going to be looking at as the other part of our activations to our vertical work. Uh, in the last episode, we actually just did linear step-ups, which was part of the preparation and activation for our vertical work. Here, we're doing the lateral portion of it. So, Maddie, let's grab the ultimate sandbag. This is where we take the offset load. We love offset loads. We do offset loads as work in and of itself. So we have pretty low resistance here, about 15 pounds. Maddie has that offset away from the action leg, away from the active leg. He's going to tension, attention, step, and drive. And then back down. Perfect. Now, if you got a real stud on that box, you have him step up and you have him drop into a pistol spot, it's awesome stuff. So that's one option. Now, Matty, if we flip that inside, away from the active leg, even though we're doing the same movement, tell me, is it a lot easier? Go ahead, give it a shot. Step up. And then back down. Good. See, here, there's not much, not much to be said about this because it's on the same side. It's on the leg that's posted. It's really kind of contraindicated for that. But as you'll see in the next movement as we progress to that, um, you have the option to go both ways there. Let's grab the Tsunami Bar and give us some feedback on that. So the Tsunami Bar, flexible barbell, this is an SG20, which takes 10 pounds per side. So Maddie gets flex right there. He's going to get a little bit of oscillation, a little bit of amplitude, and always have your client or athlete start with a very non-aggressive fulcrum, kind of close to the movement itself, so you can get a good look at it, and you want to promote the activation, you want to promote good horizontal trunk stability. So tension, which means you're going to crank it down. Attention, tall chest. Leg up and drop. Perfect. And then back down. Good job. Now, let's see if he can walk that away from himself just a little bit and kind of, you know, let it work you a little bit. So tension, crank it down. Right there, he's lighting up his trunk, top to bottom. Attention, step, drive. Bang. Good stuff, right back down. So now you can do it with a pistol squat. No, I'm only kidding. We're not going to set him down into a pistol squat. So the next movement we, that we have is still working in the lateral aspect, and you can do it without the bag the first time, Maddie, is the lateral X step up. We love this for a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons in the sense that it really helps to light the glutes up, um, but also it helps to indicate and uh, really paint a good demonstration of whether or not there is lateral flexion and just kind of keep people away from it, okay? So, show him the lateral X step up. He reaches across, he pauses, comes up, and then back down. Perfect, one more time. Come up, pause. He's acquiring the box and he's coming back down. So, most, most folks will say to me, well, I mean, like, what the heck are you talking about? When you cross up, you're definitely gonna flex laterally. Not necessarily. With the correct hip mobility that really shouldn't require, that really shouldn't surface, um, they will just acquire the skill to understand that there has to be accurate mobility at the hip and to really work on that. That's why this is kind of diagnostic too. So Matty, if you X across and pause, stay right there. If you have some sort of impingement, if you have some issue with hip mobility, 
Um, obviously, that would cause them to, to, kilt, to kilt her a little bit. So really, you see, Maddie's got pretty good hip mobility here. So automatically, he's not going to just teeter off to that side. He's still upright, and you can kind of cue him through that once he gets the load. So we're going to get the load here, man. Let's get the ultimate sandbag. Let's offset load him. Here on the X step up, this is where exists the option to go either outside or inside load. We like to offset load it this way is the higher degree of difficulty because as he crosses over, obviously that becomes a hovering spot. That becomes the hollow spot. Okay? So tension, attention, cross up, drive, and then back down slow. Okay? Now, obviously, you would reverse that process if you were going to go on the other side and cross up with the other way. Now, Maddie, flip that to the inside and tell us if it's easier to perform. So, tension, attention, drive. Step, drive. Easier? Yeah. Either way, that could be the regression. You want to get somebody getting used to managing that load on that next step up if you're going to do that as a regular exercise. It's a great regular standalone or paired up exercise. So consider that. Now we're going to take him to the gusto, obviously. Back on the tsunami bar and start non aggressively. He's got his fulcrum pretty close to his body, good offset load. He's going to torque down. So tension, attention, cross up, and drop. Good. I felt awesome on my elbow. <laughs> so, one more time. Tension, attention, cross up, X, drive, and back down. It is funny. So, um, one other thing to add here is with, with the flexible barbell, um, you're really going to get a pretty good picture looking at the thoracic stability also. Because um, when he cranked down on that, grab that back, uh, grab the barbell one more time and turn this side towards the camera, please. Okay, so he, yeah, there you go. Now, tension, crank, crank, attention. You're gonna get a good look across his back here. Really good look across his back here. His perspective is his joints and angles. And it's just, it's a really a great diagnostic tool. Thanks so much, Maddie, for demonstrating today. We love those barbells for a lot of reasons. The, the flexible barbells, you can use unsupervised for diagnostic reasons, mobility reasons. It's great. And once again, shout out to the Ultimate Sandbag. Great, uh, durable piece of equipment there. So, um, listen, horizontal trunk stability. Send us emails. Don't forget, when you send in the emails, please put your name, put your facility, and listen, we'll give you a shout out. When this, this whole time in American history is over, we plan on even going back out to facilities and getting little episodes together to feature your facility. So until next time, Coach Massey here from Massey Machado, Strength and Conditioning, M2, Speed, Strength and Performance, reminding you that greatness is forged, not fabricated. That's your day.